Hey guys, Naked Reptiles here, and today I wanted to make a quick video of my one-year-old female red-sided garter snake named Rita. And uh, right now I have her feeding on uh, pinkies. And she usually eats uh, frozen thawed hold silver sides. But uh, today, you know, I thought I'd switch it up a little bit and uh, feed her some pinkies. Um, you want to be careful about a particular, you know, any kind of uh, snake that eats fish because um, there are certain enzymes inside uh, fish that can cause really, really bad harm to your snakes if you're not careful. Like um, goldfish are, you know, they're fed to all kinds of garter snakes I know and people who don't know this, uh, that they're actually poisoning their snake. But, um, so yeah, just be very, very careful and make sure you do a ton of research um, before you feed any of your snakes, but um, in particular snakes that eat fish or worms or, you know, you just want to make sure that they do not contain um, thiamine or thi thiaminase. Um, in my other garter snake feeding video, I talk a lot about it in the description, so if you have any questions, um, you know, see that video and I have a huge, you know, description on uh, what I'm talking about. So, um, here we go. Um, take a pinky. And these I just thawed out just recently, so they're nice and warm for her. And she should be under here. Let's see if we can get her to come out. And she usually eats like a pig, so... Let's see. Let's see if she's under there. There she is. Let's see if we can get her to take a pinky mouse. There she goes. Sorry about that, you missed the strike, but... Now my garter snake Rita, she, like I said before, she is a pig. Um, she uh, eats anything I put in there, you know, fish, she gobbles it up, but um, some garter snakes, you know, in particular, they might have a hard time feeding on uh, pinkies and um, to cure that you just uh, soak them in, you know, because I, like I said before, I use frozen thawed fish normally for her, but what I would normally do if she wouldn't, you know, eat the pinky, I would uh, thaw it with the fish so it gets the fishy smell on it. And so that way she thinks she's eating a, uh, a fish. So, um... But today, as you can see, she's having no issues eating pinkies. She's just gobbling it right down. Now, pinkies, again, are a whole, you know, they're, f you know, full of nutrients, you know, they have the calcium, everything. But um, if you're feeding your garter snake, you know, chunks of fillets of fish or worms, you want to make sure you give a light dusting of calcium powder, you know, vitamin powder. Um, I want to say like maybe maybe once a month for them because, uh, you know, you need to make sure that, you know, in the wild they would be eating things with bones and other things. So you want to make sure that they're getting their calcium. Now, pinkies, uh, they don't have, you know, real full bones yet, but they do have some, you know, beginning stages of bones, and they do have a little bit of calcium, and you want to be careful also when you're feeding pinkies and mice to garter snakes, is they, they can be really, really, really fatty, um, if you fe feed them too much, you know, every day, that's why it's good to provide a balanced diet, like for her, I feed her silver sides, I give her pinkies once in a while, and then I also give her, um, you know, chunks of night crawlers. So that's one way I kind of try to vary her diet. And garter snakes, it's really easy to vary their diet, as long as you do your research. And as you can see, she just chowed down on that. Let's see if she'll take another one. She probably will because she is a pig. Let's see if 
triangular ticket right in front here. There she goes. I don't know about you guys that have garter snakes at home, but Rita, she likes to, you know, usually she likes to carry around her food before she eats it, which is kind of annoying, but oh well, that's what she likes. Oh, and also, um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before in another video or not, but I do not feed my snakes in separate cages, you know, because whenever I feed them, I'm always standing here watching them, making sure that they don't eat any substrate or or very little of it, um, and all my snakes, you know, my three-year-old corn snake, I've been feeding him in his enclosure all his life, and none of them have sh ever showed signs of being aggressive due to me opening the cage and feeding them, so, um, to be honest, I think that theory is a myth, but to each their own, I have, I haven't had any problems with it, so why change something if it's working for you? And in the wild, you know, snakes would normally eat a little bit of the substrate, you know, the dirt or whatever they're living in. They would normally eat a little bit of that. So it's perfectly natural for them as long as they do not eat big chunks like this piece right here that I'm going to remove. Make sure she doesn't eat that. <clears throat> well, like I said before, as long as you're watching your snake... There should be no problems with feeding them in their enclosure. And there she goes. As you can see, she is quite the pig. She eats anything that I give to her. And you can see, really see her bright coloring. And there she is swallowing it, pushing it down her gut. But yeah, that's it for Rita. And, uh, that's it guys, so um, if you have any suggestions of videos you want to see next or any kind of uh, questions, leave them down in the comments and uh, I'll, I always get back to all my comments. So again, if you need any questions uh, on what to feed your garter snake, make sure you look at my old video of my old male red side garter snake. There's a lot of info in the description bar, so if you check that out. Um, it might be able to help you on what is safe and what isn't safe to feed your garter snakes. And until next video, guys, uh, I'll see ya. Bye.